everyone, my name is Gabrielle Quinones and welcome to another video. I have no idea what this video is going to be, but my makeup looks absolutely perfect. So of course I had to film. <laughs> um, let's see, so I guess I'll just talk to you about like what was going on today. Today I had a graduation walk at my elementary school. So basically um, a bunch of us from the elementary school that I went to dressed up in our cap and gown and we met at our elementary school and we just walked around. Well, I got there five minutes late because I was taking off my gross acrylics and I got there a couple minutes late and whenever I walked in I went into the gym where everyone was at and they were all like grouped up and in front of um, the fourth and fifth graders and so there was this lady and she was like did you did you talk yet and I was like no and so they were like oh oh my god so this is the um this girl like walked in late or whatever but um she's here and so I just told them like my name like what college I was going to my major and stuff like that and then um we took a group picture and then there was this other kid and he was like okay can you follow me please so um we all followed him and he goes okay have a nice day and uh we walk out and I was like wait is that it and they were like yeah and I was like and then everyone was like what <laughs> And we were so confused because like I what it was like literally five minutes and they were saying that um that they just walked around the school and it was like super super quick so it was like a total of 10 minutes and then so it was like five minutes that they walked around the school and then like the five minutes that I was there was taking pictures and I was like so, but my brother still goes to that school, so I see that school all the time, and I see those teachers all the time anyway, so it's not like it was a big deal. And most of those people that were there, I don't really talk to, or I guess they don't like me or something, because a lot of people don't like me, and if you want to know why, or if you want to, you know, I don't know, I guess, like, know more about why or why I feel like people don't like me, then watch my last video! <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I don't know what this video is going to be, but um, I guess by the time that you're watching this, I will have already made up a title and this is just the intro of the rest of the video. So bye for now. Oh! Hey guys, so the intro probably says something about how I really wanted to do a video because my makeup looks really good. So here's that video. I decided to do a shoe haul with um, a couple accessories um, because, okay, I was going to do like a shoe haul and like a clothing haul and then just have like a fashion haul, but a lot of, a lot of my clothes are, all of my clothes are dirty and in a hamper. Um, so once all my clothes get clean, then I can do a clothing haul of all the things, well I say haul, but like, I don't know, like kind of like a, my favorite pieces and uh, maybe like how I like to style them or something like that, I don't know. Um, but I've been really, really into fashion recently. I, um, obviously I really like makeup and stuff, but very recently I've been getting into, um, you know, like shoes and clothes and just, I don't know, just like little accessories and things like that. Um, so I'm like super excited about all of that, so, um, anyways, blah, blah, blah. okay, so I'm just gonna start with, um, the accessories, because those are close by, and then I'll get into the shoes. Um, okay, so I have this hat, and it says boy on it, and I can't wear it like this, because it looks really stupid, so I like to wear this backwards, like this, and it looks just so, it looks, just, blah, it just looks super cute, and it's like very, like, um, like girly but like not girly at the same time and I don't know I just really like it like you know if you're just wearing like a casual outfit you just kind of toss this on and you don't have to worry about your hair and stuff like that um, I bought this in Puerto Rico not the last time I went but maybe the second to last time I went and I wore it almost every single day on that trip and then I wore it like almost every single day throughout that year um, so this is a very very um, likable hat for me. Um, I don't wear it so much off, I don't wear it so much now because of the way that I've been styling my hair. Now, my hair like this, um, would be something that I would wear a hat with, 
but recently I've been parting my hair to the side so I don't really like the way my hair looks um, under hats when it's like on the side so that's why I kind of have my hair like this for today because I was wearing my cap for my from uh, with my cap and gown um, and I didn't like how it was like parted or whatever so that's why it's split in the center and that's why I don't really wear this hat that often anymore <sighs> okay and sunglasses I was never able to wear sunglasses because I've always had glasses I've always had glasses I've had glasses since kindergarten um, but this past year um, I got contacts so I was able to wear sunglasses and these were the very first sunglasses that I got and they're just super cute they're really big and they just I don't know they just make me feel like a celebrity and like when I put them on I'm like who am I like you don't even know you know like I'm hiding and I really like these I also have um, two other ones in my car that I might um, get a shot of like later on I don't know um, they were just uh, aviators one of them is um, turquoise blue and the other one is just silver um, and I don't really like wearing sunglasses whenever I'm driving so like all three of them will just be on my dashboard and whenever I take a turn like they all slide to the opposite side which is really funny but sunglasses are super super cute and I love um, I love the feeling I get whenever I put some sunglasses on and I'm walking outside and it's super sunny um, sometimes I'll even be that person that like wears them indoors because I'm just like this is part of my outfit and like I need to have them on um, some days whenever I don't wear makeup and I feel um, like I don't look the best um, I'll put I'll put these on and then I'll be like BAM ready to go um, uh, what else oh the other day I had on um, I had my hair and my hair was like in my face so I was like you know what like why don't I put some sunglasses on like headbands so I did and oh my god it looks so cute um, I'll insert the picture maybe if I want to okay and then my third and last accessory is this bag it's from Christian Siriano and it just looks like this and it's like open inside and it has like this little where is it this little clasp thing like magnetic thing and then it has um, a big zipper right here and in the big zipper I actually don't have anything but I have the big long strap that's supposed to be the shoulder strap I took it off um, which is what I like about this is that you can have like the big long straps like you can just clip them on the side right here and then have like the long strap or you can just have it like this and walk around like this which is what I do um, I might mm, the contents of my purse aren't that entertaining so I may not do like a what's in my bag type of thing but I mean I guess if you guys are interested then like that might be something that I could do I mean, know this ready okay so, prepare for the grossest shoes you have ever seen in your entire life. <sighs> Y'all ain't even ready for this. These nasty Converse are what I've been wearing for two years straight. Yes, these I wore two years straight. Like, look. Like, I'm not even playing with you. Like, that's my finger. Like, that's my actual finger. And then, like, over here is, like, all ripped. Oh, look. Is this another hole? Yep. Like, I'm I'm not even joking with you. I've worn these shoes for two years in a row. Look, it's, like, poking out. Um, I bought these shoes with my own money. Um, with the money that I got for my sweet 16 or maybe it was like my 17th birthday um I'm not quite sure oh it must have been sweet 16 because then I wore it all through junior year and then I wore it all through senior year so it had to be sweet 16 okay so I bought these yeah I bought these shoes with my own money and I took so much care of these like when I had these on people knew people knew and like they I would not walk in the grass so people would literally walk with me all the way around something just so I wouldn't walk in the grass because they knew I wasn't about that life um, I didn't wear these when it was raining um, I would wear 
my old red Converse that I had to get rid of because they were gross. Um, I would wear those whenever it was raining. Um, so, yeah, never wore these when they were raining. Never wore these whenever it was gross outside. Like, I always had these perfect for the entire junior year. Then senior year, um, because, like, over the summer I would wear them and I'd be like, okay, you know what, I've had these for a year. I might as well, like, start wearing them like shoes. Um, so then my senior year, um, I started wearing them and then they started getting really beat up because I would, like, run in these. It would rain. I would... These, I literally wear these all the time. Like, every day. Even... Like, I bought a brand new pair the other day. Like, I'm talking about brand new, okay? Ooh, it's brand new shoes. Brought a brand new pair, and then it was raining outside, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I can't be wearing these when they're raining, so I put these back on. Put my gross ones back on, and I put these back in the box and now I'm so scared to use these because I paid with my own money for these as well. Actually, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was going to, but then my mom was like, yeet, and she paid for them. So, um, so I mean, I guess I could wear those and be like, okay with it because I didn't really pay for them. But like, I just, it's like Converse are only like so pretty. Like, okay, I only like Converse when they're like brand new or or if they're like completely beat up you know what i'm saying like i hate that in between stage where it's like they got like a couple a couple a couple of scuff marks and like you can't get rid of them and like things like that like i like it makes me so upset because it's like just be super clean or just be super gross so um so yeah so now i'm like I don't know which ones to wear because these are obviously like coming off like my feet like these need to die but it's just I don't want the other ones to live you know what I'm saying <sighs> whatever I don't know where to put these oh no okay all the problems all of the problems okay but I don't know I'll guess I guess I'll figure that out okay next so I have this big like tub thing of shoes and all right so I'm just going to work my way in. Okay, cool. So I have these black sandals that I absolutely hate the way that they look on me. Um, I have really like, never mind. <laughs> um, I just don't like the way my feet look in these. Um, they're very like wide, I think. And like, I don't know. I just don't really like how they look on these. And then they're super loose. So my feet aren't secure, so I feel like I have to like kind of like clench my feet when I walk, and I don't know. I'm just super uncomfortable to walk in these because they don't even have like a little clip. It's just kind of like this elastic. But these are super cute, and I bought these in Puerto Rico, I think, because um, I didn't have any sandals for whenever I went, and I really needed some because like, hi, you need sandals when you go to Puerto Rico. Um, okay, and then I have these sparkly shoes with the little hole in the toe I am gonna be honest with you I hate these little hole like I hate shoes that have these holes in them because it just doesn't make sense to me and I just don't like them and I think it looks really ugly like the shoe would be so cute like if it didn't have that little hole you know what I'm saying and just looks really stupid um oh yeah the heel, eh, I'd say it's about like three, four inches, three and a half inches, something like that. Um, but it's a platform-ish type of thing, but like not really, so it kind of like balances it out. And I wore these um, with my quinceanera dress uh, for my quinceanera. And which, if you don't know what a quinceanera is, it's a sweet 15 birthday, it's like a 15 birthday party, like a sweet 16. Um, quinceanera, Hispanic, cool, moving on. So I wore these with my quinceanera dress, and I don't know how much these were. I don't know where I got these from. I probably got these from JCPenney, but yeah. Oh, and I'm probably never going to wear these again because, like I said, I hate the little whole things. All right, cool. All right. So these actually do not fit me, but I got these from Puerto Rico because they were $5.00. And I got the exact same pair in black, but the black ones fit me, thank God, because these are an eight and a half, the black ones are eight and a half, and the brown ones are an eight. 
So, um, but yeah, it was five dollars. So I had to get them. These look super cute in pictures and with a certain dress that I got in Puerto Rico. So, um, yeah, it's just so cute. I love how it has like a little gold and it's like brown and it's just, it's just so cute. And it's like, it's like a cute little booty and it's like a nice tall heel. But these are like, this one in particular is super uncomfortable like this this brown one is the most uncomfortable thing that i've ever worn but it, i think it's because um it doesn't fit me and here's the other one um but the black ones um the black ones are uh broken up they are beat up if you can tell because i do wear these um oh my god that's how you could tell these were five dollars these were on clearance for five dollars so these were probably like more expensive but like it was just falling apart and i've only worn these a couple times but these are super loved um i do wear these and they do fit um they're pretty cuff they're pretty comfortable like hello they're pretty comfortable like they're not like the most uncomfortable shoes i've ever worn um but they're not something that i would like you know like walk around for like hours in all right and then i have these gorgeous like tie up shoes in the history of the world like can we just take a moment and just acknowledge how beautiful these are oh my god there's like glitter and like grossness like all inside of this because this is what i wear like for all of my school dances like i got these for my junior prom and i'm pretty sure i wore them to homecoming that my senior year and i'm pretty sure i wore these to um to twerp and i'm pretty sure i wore these to my yes i wore these to my senior prom too so i wore these a lot and i also wear these with um with jeans these look so gorgeous in jeans and i can't tell like what colors oh these are super comfortable by the way like these are so freaking comfortable like like you think that these are so tall and like so uncomfortable but no like the fact that you can like tie it up and like secure your ankle and then they have like this little like it feels like so comfortable in here it's just these shoes are so comfortable however my senior prom um my toes started rubbing against the sides and um i did start to get blisters and i was very i felt very betrayed but these are still super gorgeous and i'm kind of scared to wear them again but like girl you know like if the time comes i'm about to be strapping these on and running out the door because i can run in these i can walk in these i can hike in these like these are super super comfortable and i love these so much um i can't tell what color these are like i don't know if they're sometimes they're gray sometimes they're green like i have no idea what color this is um like it looks kind of green in the camera but, like in person right now it looks kind of gray and like i have no idea like what color this is but like yeah these are my these are probably like my favorite favorite shoes of all times <sighs> that was a solid three out of ten and i'm very upset about it okay so my next pair of shoes are these simple black ones because every girl needs every girl needs every girl needs a black heel okay um i wear these um well i got these for district convention for key club several years ago i've had these for jeez oh my god probably like four years i'm pretty sure i've had these for four years and i've worn them all four years to district convention um i'm gonna stop this and restart okay cool <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I've worn these all four years to district convention, and I can tell you right now that I hate walking in these. Like, these look so freaking cute. Like, these are so gorgeous, but, like, I hate walking in them because, like, I'm used to having shoes that are, like, um, that secure my ankle. So these, like, my when my foot gets really sweaty, like, it comes off and, like, my foot comes out. And so, like, it's a constant struggle of having to keep my foot in the heel. And it's just ugh, really annoying. And, like, there's all these scuff marks because, like, because I do wear these so much. And then um, I'm usually, like, cro crossing my legs. So, like, the heel, like, rubs against it. And I just, they're black. I really don't care. I mean, these are shiny, so, like, you can tell, but, like whatever and they're like so gross in here like ugh. but i do wear these like every year. like i wear these at least three times a year like because these are just like those shoes that 
like these are like the go-to shoes you know like everyone needs a black pair of heels like simple like no not booties not like where they at like not like this okay not strappy heels like no 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 like everyone needs a close toed pair of high heels like mm, this goes with everything okay and i've okay i have never been able to wear these shoes because they have never i'm talking about have never fit me and i there are these like calf high knee high um converse and they're gray these have never fit me and like i've i was these look they're brand new like super clean i think i got these in like fifth grade middle school something like that and they still do not fit me like these are like the like this part is just too big and I just, at this point, these are so out of style that, like, I don't even want to bother with it. But, yeah. And then they got the zipper in the back. Yeah, these are so out of style. What? Wait. Oh! Let me tell y'all why this never fit me. I just saw... <laughs> okay. So, at the bottom, it says a size 8. Right? And that's what size I am. Like, I'm a size 8. Yeah, yeah, I'm a size 8. Okay, but inside here, it says that in U.S., this is a, ew, look at my nails. Okay, let's just ignore that. It's a U.S. 10 and a U.K. 8. That's why these have never fit me. Oh, oh my god, I was so confused. I was like, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, but like, I just had like a whole moment because I spent so many years like trying to fit in those shoes and they just never fit okay cool all right okay so the other the other pair of these shoe of this shoe is like over there because it fell out while i was carrying the box over here um but these are sandals that i also got in puerto rico last year because i didn't have any sandals and we were going to the beach um these are actually super super cute um oh this is coming out super cute super cheap um, these actually run really small because this is a size 10. This is a size 10. Um, and like I said, like I'm a size 8, like 8 and a half, something like that. Um, but these are a size 10 and they run small. Um, I do not like walking in these. Like, I would rather walk barefoot. I would rather walk, like, walk in someone else's shoes. Like, however gross you may think that is, like, um... I hate walking in these like oh my god look this looks so clean because I always wear these like to the beach or something or like someplace with water so like they never really get dirty but um it's just like the straps like like this part right here like okay look Let's see if you can tell like over here it's just kind of like just rough and so like it rubs against like my toes and stuff and it gives me like blisters and it just hurts so bad but they're super cute and I can like put them in and then walk to the pool, walk to the beach, walk to the water park, take them off and then like while I'm there walk barefoot and then just put them back on to go to the car. So it's like cute for that. Um, but like the second that we have to start walking somewhere else, I'm like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. All right. All right. Now, these are another pair of shoes that I bought with my own money. They're dirty. Um, that I bought with my own money. These were a whopping $50. I put them on layaway and I paid like $11 every week for these shoes. These were quite an investment. I was obsessed with these from the second that I saw them. I probably should not have bought them because since I bought them I probably only worn them once or twice and I bought them for Thanksgiving. Um, and these are thigh high boots and they look like this and they're super cute they're super cute they have like the little string to tie them up they're super cute but these are $50 and I've only worn them like twice and now it's like summertime and I can't really wear these and they're like dirty and like scuffing up on me but like they're just so cute and I really shouldn't have bought these 
but like I had to and then like at one point they were like the wrong size and then like I don't know and then like I felt like I should have gotten like the black ones but then I just it was a lot of thought and a lot of regret and but you know what these you know eventually you know you're gonna buy some shoes that you think that you really want but you really don't need and you know what these are my pair these are the pair that I regret the most but they're just so cute and you know what like it's okay it's okay they're my best friends you know what I'm saying like this is like that girl that like you know you feel like you know she's so pretty like you think that she's so nice you want to talk to her and like you really just want to get to know her and she seems so friendly and like you need her in your life and then whenever you like get her you're like hmm maybe I don't need you you know what I'm saying like I don't need you in my life I don't need you in my life but like I kind of want you in my life but like only sometimes like when I'm lonely and like when I got no one else to go to the mall with me then I'm gonna call you up yeah that's that's who these shoes are okay <clears throat> all right so oh my leg my leg my leg oh no okay all right so now I have these pair of shoes the biggest plot twist of my shoe collection if you will <laughs> um these are also christian siriano um just like my purse because i bought them at the same shoe store yes i got my purse from a shoe store like who you trying to clock i'm real i'm poor i know who i am um but so i got these and these are pointed but the reason i got these was because i was like okay they're tall yes i love tall heels miss me with them short heels like i that was like a one out of ten that wasn't even a burp that was just like sadness and like i'm so sorry one day i'm gonna burp and you guys are gonna be like whoa that was an 11 out of 10 and you know what for that day i'll, I'll stay alive i'll stay alive for that day you know what i'm saying I hope you stay around for that day too. I'm going to give y'all a really good burp and y'all going to be like, whoa. Um, but yeah, so these shoes, I bought these because of the height, the color, and the fact that I knew that it would look good with the pantsuit that I was wearing. Who is that boy? Some random boy that just like rode up in a bike on my driveway to meet my friend, I mean to meet my brother and like all these random little, all these random little boys always come into my house to play with my brothers and I'm just like but the second I want to hang out with my friend mm -mm. anyways um so yeah so these look super cute um with like some what are they called some slacks with a suit oh my god gorgeous and I was very concerned about the point because the point isn't something that teenagers usually wear it's not something that teenagers like it's not a very popular thing we usually like um like rounded toe things and um, you know, stuff like this. So this isn't really something that we would normally wear, but I got so many compliments on these shoes, um, because I feel like these are something that, like, you don't really, you don't think that you can wear, so you just kind of, like, appreciate it on other people, and so I felt, so I really felt like that, like, I was like, okay, well, these shoes are super cute, but I'm gonna wear them because, like, they were cheap, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people complimented them. They always said, oh my god, your shoes are so cute, but I don't like pointed toes, so I would never wear them. But they look so good on you. And I'm like, thanks? <laughs> okay, so. Those are these. Okay. Uh, I also wore these to district convention for Key Club this past year. And I wore them to someone's birthday dinner, and it was super cute. And then I matched, I tried to like match my lip color to the um, to these shoes, and someone noticed, and it made me so happy. Okay, cool. So these are... I'm missing a pair of shoes. I'm missing a pair of shoes. Okay, so these were not my recent pair of shoes that I bought. My recent purchase. Um, I need to find my recent purchase because where are they? Okay, I'll show you my recent, recent purchase last. But these are my second to last um, shoes. 
these are these um strappy like um blush pink millennial pink like rose gold type of thing very minimalistic very pretty the heel is so unique and i really like the heel because it's like it gets thin and then it gets thicker um like if you compare it to um another heel like you can see how can you tell i don't know if you can tell but like you see how this heel it gets wide and then thin but this one gets thin then wide so it's just like i don't know i really like it it's super cute um the thing that I don't like about these is that, I don't know if you noticed, but all of my shoes are closed-toed. Um, these are the only ones that I have that are open-toed, besides the little hole shoes, but like, mm. um, So these are the only ones that show all of my toes, and I had my shoe cl collection like that for a reason. Because I don't like my toes. I don't like how my toes look. I don't understand how girls can have pretty toes. Like, I, I was not blessed with that, like... You know what I'm saying? So these gave me a nightmare and I bought these the day of my 18th birthday party right after I begged my dad to buy me a dress. Well, I didn't beg him to buy me a dress. I just said if it was too expensive, like you don't have to get it for me, like it's okay, like like I'm okay with that. But he wanted to buy the dress for me. So then after that, you know, I was super thankful. I thanked my dad a lot and I told him that, you know, like we just had a heart to heart for a moment and I guess... You know, he was just like, wow, I have a nice daughter. I'm going to buy her some shoes. So he bought me some shoes to go with the dress. And um, we spent a long time trying to pick out some shoes because the party was the day, like that night. And we were running out of time. So we were in a rush. We were stressing out. Um, but we chose these. Um, so yeah, so this like, but I, okay. The conversation, <laughs> I was trying to think about like where I was going with that. Um, the conversation that me and my dad had was basically me saying that I love these shoes and they're super cute and they're just so, like these are so trendy and like I'm not one to like, let me take that back. <laughs> the last year trends, um, the trends from last year, I hated. I hated the trends from last year. But this year, the trends are, like, super cute. Like, okay, like, this this shirt is, like, super cute and, like, okay. So, I'm kind of vibing with the trends of this year. So, these are super trendy and I kind of vibe with these. But I told my dad, I was like, I don't think I want these because, like, it's open-toed and I don't like open-toed shoes and, like, I don't like my toes or whatever. And my dad said, Gabby, you are going to be an adult. You are growing up. You need to wear adult shoes and so I took that as these were my gateway into adulthood because I was kind of becoming proud of um, the person that I became and I know this is getting really weird and sentimental and stuff but you know I hid my toes for years and years and years since elementary school since I think maybe fourth fifth grade I started hiding my toes because this one girl um call, like called me out and was like girl your toes are ugly and I was like so ever since then I've only worn clothes I've only worn closed toed shoes that's why I never had a pair of sandals that's why I, I had to buy two brand new pair of sandals last year and um so for my dad to tell me that and for me to just kind of buy these open toed shoes and be confident in these open toed shoes you know really meant a lot to me and I just these shoes represent my womanhood I guess and these are the most different most elegant shoes that I own it's super like minimalistic it's very like a woman color like I don't know these are very like women vibes you know and I like okay like for real like look at these shoes compared to my favorite shoes so these are my favorite shoes right the ones i wore to prom and these are the ones that represent me becoming an adult so you can see how this is so much different than this because this shows how i didn't like my toes it showed how i was a teenager and i was you know like with the little shoelaces and stuff you know but these are like I don't care if you don't like my toes. These are like 
I don't need people to help me tie these. Actually, I really do because like it's kind of rough, but like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was I don't know, but you guys can see how these two are completely and utterly different and these I got because I wanted to be a teenager and these I got because I was ready to be an adult and I just God, I love shoes so much and um oh, I need to get my last pair of shoes. Okay. Okay. So these are the brand newest shoes that I have. Um, I bought these last week, I think, maybe the week before. They still have all the tickets on them, but look how cute. Oh my god. Okay, so these are also pointed toe. Okay, so these are also pointed toe, and um, I was... Okay, so these are just super cute, okay? Oh, wait, did I show you all this? Yeah, these are super cute. Um, I felt like I was gravitated towards these because um, these kind of gave me, like, Gucci vibes because I felt like this kind of looked like a G. Um, I don't know if Gucci show sells shoes like this. They probably don't. And y'all might be like, yeah, but that's the cheapest pair of shoes I've ever seen. And to which I would reply, I don't think uh, $19 is necessarily cheap. Um, because those little pointed toe maroon burgundy, um, strappy shoes, like, those pointed toe shoes, those were $15. So, $19? Hmm. But, um, yeah, these are super cute. I have yet to wear these, obviously. <laughs> um, but these are super cute. Oh my god, like, I feel like these would look cute with tights. These would look good with jeans. These would look good with a dress. These would look good with, um, a skirt. Um, well, I don't know so much about a dress. I guess it depends on how long or short the dress is. Like, I was kind of thinking about wearing these for my graduation because these are kind of tall and I want tall heels. These are about... I want tall heels for graduation because I want to be that girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be that girl who... Where did my... Where did I... Yeah, I don't have a strapless bra. You guys going to have to deal with it. Um, I want to be that girl with the really tall heels and, like, just be an extra, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to stand out, like, you know? But I don't think this will, the height will go well with my gown because of the way that, like, it hits. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to see if I wear these to graduation or not. I probably will not. But, um, oh, yeah, they have a little zipper. I don't know if I, yeah. Okay, these are in a size 8. And these were... $19 so oh and I bought these and they were scuffed up but these were look at that like I bought them like this because like okay so these were already on clearance like they were originally ow, $35 they were originally $35 but they were discounted for $19 so I couldn't get it any more discounted because of the little thing because they were already on discount so I just had to do this oh and these y'all let me just tell y'all they're so comfortable in here like they have like some squishy stuff like on the sides and like I can't even express to you like how comfortable I gonna like oh my god like I can't wear to wear these like I can't wait to wear these like I'm about to be shortening these like let me just tell you <laughs> okay so that was my shoe slash couple of accessory haul um I'm like I said I'm gonna do a clothing one where um you know whenever like all of my clothes get like washed and clean and stuff like that so until next time my name is Gabriella Quinones and thank you for watching comment down below whatever y'all want because apparently you guys don't listen to me whenever I tell y'all to comment down something and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um so, uh, I don't know what else to say. Okay, bye! I'm wearing pajama shorts and you can't tell cause it's gonna be from the armpit up. Yeah! <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Just, uh, you know, carry my box of shoes. Oh, look! That's my foundation on the screen. Because, <laughs> like, in the little forehead thing. Yeah, okay. Bye.